crime ends in a trap that justice sets. Crime does not pay. Okay, no problem, sir. So, as you were saying that you haven't purchased this type of iPhone 11, which is costing to be around $1,200, you didn't authorize it, right? No, I did not. Okay, sir, and let me just confirm the delivery address over here. It's 1604 Crescent Avenue, El Paso, Texas. Do you recognize this location? El Paso? I'm in New York. See, sir, see, that's the problem, because you know this phone is going to be delivered over there. So I'm just asking, do you know anyone living there that might have done this order using your account? Oh, no, the only person I know there is Hopalon Cassidy, but he... He wouldn't order anything on my account. Why would he order it on my account? Well, obviously, sir. Uh, let me ask you a few security questions like, uh, have you ever connected to any public Wi-Fi or any kind of public network, like any airport, hotel, restaurant, or a hospital in the past seven days? No. Okay, so basically you only use your home Wi-Fi, right? Yeah, my, my home computer, yeah. Okay, so, so what we need to do now is, first of all, we need to cancel out this charge which has been occurred on your Amazon account. First, I'll help you to cancel it, and also I'll be updating a security patch in your Amazon account so that this won't happen again, okay? What's that mean? I don't know what that means. I, I don't know what you're even talking about. Uh, well, sir, I'm just going to tell you the some steps over the phone. You need to perform that on your computer to cancel out this charge on your Amazon account, okay? Yeah, yeah, I got it. I don't know. I, I got to cancel it, but... Yes, sir. I will help you to cancel it, okay? Okay. That's why I'm here, all right? Okay. Yeah, just turn on your computer and let me know when it gets ready to use, okay? We'll follow some steps on your computer. So take a minute. It's got to warm up. Sure, sir. Please take your time. When it gets ready to use, just let me know. I'm on the line here. Okay. Okay, it's on. All right, perfect, sir. Now, can you tell me what brand it is? It's an Apple computer or it's a Windows computer? It's a Lenovo. It's a Lenovo computer, right? So it must be a Windows. All right, now, do you have your Google Chrome in your computer? A browser that is named Google Chrome? Yeah. Open that up. Okay. Now what? Now, when you see Google search, you are seeing the Google search in the middle, right? Yeah. Yes, do one thing, type the www dot. Okay. Now what do you have on the screen? You will left click on download. Now after that, your Google Chrome will download something like Ultra Viewer Setup, like in the, you know, left bottom corner, right? Left or right? You will click on that. <clears throat> you will click on Ultra Viewer Setup. That yeah. is on your bottom left do, on your do, screen, do, okay? Do, After clicking do, that, let me know what you can see. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click on yes. Now, do you see the option of next or run or install, something like that? Next, yeah. Yes, go with the positive option, install, run, okay, skip, next, anyone with it. It's finished, okay, now it must be opening right now, right? No, you got it. Is, there's a thing to click finish. Yes, click on finish. Why am I doing this? Just to cancel something I didn't order? Could you tell me that? Yes, sir, sure. I will tell you that. Now, in this process, what I just did is I just told you to download an application which will be helping you to generate your case ID in this situation. And also, this is for the security patch, sir. We'll verify you and we'll install the security patch via the secure server. This is the application which will help us to do all of that. Oh, okay. It seems slow, complicated just to cancel it. Well, sir, I... It's not, sir. You know, when we'll get connected, everything will be good to go. I will help you easily, okay? okay. It will not be a problem after we get connected. Now, is it open now? Yeah. Okay, now do you see your ID, which is a eight-digit ID? Yeah, I see it. Yeah, tell me that number. That is your case ID. Let me register that. It's 4335775. Okay, let me repeat that to you. It's 433. Three five seven seven five four. Now, in order to add a bit of its security, can you please tell me the four-digit password? One three six three. All right, so now I'll try to set up a connection request. Sir, can you please repeat the password again? 
Uh, sir, I'm very sorry about that. You see your ID. That is an eight-digit ID. You told me that the ID is 433-57754. Is that correct? No, no, the last three is 747. 747. Okay, so it's 433-57747, correct? Yes. Paper. Great. Now, Paper. tell me the... Yeah, tell me the four-digit password again. What? 1363. Three. Okay, so we're almost done. Let me secure connection. Okay, perfect, sir. Now we are securely connected to the secure server. Now, do one thing. Just open up your Amazon account, okay? Type on the search Amazon.com and open up your account. I'll show you where the problem is. Okay, sir. You have opened the Amazon? Yeah, I opened the Amazon. Now what? Okay, now, sir, it will ask you for this sign-in, okay? Just wait for a moment. Now is the sign-in available to you? Oh, there's a problem. They can't find my account. Okay, it says that we cannot find an account with that email address. No problem, sir. Just proceed with your phone number, okay? Uh, remove your email ID and proceed with your phone number. But that's my phone number. I don't know. What's going on here? starting to get mad. This is stupid. Just cancel the order. Sir, I will be surely cancel, uh, canceling out your order as soon as you open up your Amazon account, sir. Yeah. You need to log in first. After that, I'll be able to cancel it, okay? Oh, now, do one thing. Did. Just, you know, enter your email address. If it doesn't go through, just let me know. Do that one. The phone number disappeared. Yes, sir, because it was incorrect. So, go ahead and open up, you know, go ahead and enter the email address, okay, which you remember connecting with your Amazon. No, it won't work. Okay, so I believe that in your screen they said this was a problem. We cannot find an account with that email address, correct? Yeah. Okay, so sir, I what think, just happened know, over here right now? Let me brief you about the situation. I don't use As this. you know, there was an order placed under your Amazon account, and the person or the program which has created this type of order has removed your yourself from Amazon, okay? That He's using be. your identity, but he is not allowing you to, you know, open up your Amazon Whoa. account by yourself, okay? Well, that's Let not me right. show you how it has happened, okay? okay? Let me give you the reasons for that. Okay, how does this happen? I don't know. I just want to cancel this $1,400 phone. I don't want that. Yes, sir. I will be making sure that, you know, $1,200 will not be charged from your account, okay? Uh, okay. That's my duty over here. All right. Let me show you what happened in your computer as well as the network. Okay. The server will be switched. The server will show you something, okay? All right, sir. Now, on the screen, you'll see what's my IP, right? Yes. And over there, there are some numbers like 782.233, correct? That is your IP address, right? Yeah. Okay, sir. Uh, let me ask you, do you know something about IP? Do you have any information Just about the IP? Just a Let them talk out. Let them talk out. Hi. Okay. No, yeah, it's my IP address, whatever that means. I don't know what it means. Yes, sir. Now you can see over there that it says that your IP address and there are numbers and it says your public IP address, right? Right. Okay, so see, there's a thing over here that your IP address, uh, you told me that you do not know anything about IP, right? No, I, what do I know about it? I'm 71 years old. I don't know what this stuff means. I just want to cancel the order. Yes, sir. I'm just, you know, going to the process on that one. First of all, I will be needing you to tell you about the IP, okay? This is an internet protocol, okay? IP means okay. internet protocol. And whenever you search anything from the internet, via the internet, doing anything like online banking, shopping from the Amazon, or just, you know, using YouTube, 
your IP address is visible, okay? So uh, yeah, I IP go to YouTube address, a lot. Everyone, I watch yeah, YouTube. everyone has their I watch YouTube videos right? all the time. Yeah, go ahead. Sir, I was just giving an example oh. of the problem. Now, on the screen, it says your public IP address. You know, the IP must be secure and it must be private, okay? okay. It's some personal information. The address over here means that it contains, you know, these numbers contains your personal information and this should not be public at any cost, all right? Right. I didn't... Yes, sir. So we need to, you know, first of all, we need to change your IP address status to public to private, okay? So that no one will be able to use your information to do any type of transaction, all right? Okay, how do we do that? I don't know how to do that. I don't know anything about computers. Okay. No problem, sir. Don't worry. I'll tell you each and every step, okay? Just be with me on the line. I'll tell you each and everything. Now, sir, look at your screen, okay? Now, tell me that do you perform online banking with this computer? Well, yeah, I do banking. I got my bank account in here. Yes, sir. Let me, you know, brief you about what will happen with your bank if you do not, you know, cancel this order right now. I will install some securities in your Amazon account as well as your IP network, okay? okay. Now, sir, on the screen of yours, it says Tiny Banker Trojan, right? Yeah. Yes, let me tell you about this. This is a type of virus, okay? The person or the program which was using your account has installed this type of Trojan. It is also called Tinba. It's a malware program that okay. targets financial institution websites. Like it's a, you know, it's a modern form of older viruses like banker Trojans. You know the Trojan, right? The Trojan horse the Greeks used, right? Yeah. Yes, so sir, what is happening over here that this Trojan is using your banking information Eddie, to create Eddie, these types of orders, Eddie, okay? Eddie, turn that so TV as soon turn, as we, Hey, whoa, hey, Eddie, turn that TV down. Fuck you, man! No, turn the TV down, I said. I can't hear this guy. Okay, go ahead. Now, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, he's got the TV up so loud I can't hear nothing. Go ahead. Okay, I'm very sorry about that, but see, sir, there are some banks mentioned over there, like TD Bank. TD Bank, I deal with TD Bank sometimes, Fargo, yeah. PNC, Bank okay. of America. So, sir, this type of virus is specially designed to hack into the computer, so they hack into the customer's computer and get all of their banking information. So, okay. sir, first of all, we need to stop that, all right? All right, let's stop Now, that. just go ahead. What does this yes, got to now, do? Please I, just go. What does this got to do with a $1,200 phone? Can't you just cancel a twelve hundred dollar phone? We're going. To, I don't need a computer lesson. I'm too old to learn new stuff. Just cancel the order. Yes, sir. I will tell you what is the reason you go. I can simply go ahead and cancel out this order okay, for you. Do it's that. no problem, That's sir. So the simple. main problem lies so here simple. that someone has your information right now. He can place another order as soon as I cancel. Then I'll this cancel that order. one you know, too. I'll cancel he's gonna that. He's going to place it again and again. I'll get so again cancel. We need to remove the person. Okay. Well, how will you remove the person? I don't know. Yes, sir, I'll tell you. In order to remove the person, we just have some securities, okay? We'll install online securities in your account, okay? In your Amazon account as well as your IP network, all right? Yes, I don't know. No problem, sir. I will tell you in each and every steps on what we're doing, all right? Okay. Now, sir, just, you know, do me a favor, go ahead and open up your online bank and see there if there is a fraudulent charge in that or not, all right? Yeah. Give a quick check in your bank that you haven't, you know, received any type of fraudulent charges, all right? If you do not, just let me know. If you do, please let me do that, too. No, no notifications. Okay, now wait for a moment. Oh, boy. What are you doing? What are you Sir, I'm not doing anything. The, you know, the circuit server is checking for the fraudulent transaction. Okay, you can do that don't, yourself. Open don't be looking at my bank. I told you whether I told you there was nothing there. That's not right. Okay, so it's not in there, right? No. Okay, no problem, sir. Do you bank with any other institution as well? Yeah, Titty Bank. Yeah, can you please go ahead and check in that particular account if the fraudulent charges have been made or not? Well, I don't want to open it in front of you. Sir, you know, the basic thing is, you know, you're not opening.
happening anything in front of me, okay? All I see over here is a black screen. And I'm just, you know, guiding the steps to you via the phone, all right? You just looked at my bank account. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? You just looked at my bank account. Sir, that was not me. I'm sorry for that. I'm just seeing a black screen over here. Oh, you see a black screen. Okay. Uh... I don't know what that is. You think it's in the other bank account? So it's not in the TD? It's not in TD. No. And it's not in uh, NGPF. That's the only two banks I got. Okay, so these are the only two institutions you're banking with, right? Right. Okay, no problem, sir. Just hold for a moment. Let me clear up your case file over here, okay? Okay, thank you. Cancel that order. Yes, I'm doing that. Hold on. Okay, stupid. Where'd that go? What are you doing here? What's going on? Did you cancel it? I'm sorry, are you speaking to me? Yeah, did you cancel it? Sir, I'm just doing that, okay? Just give me one more minute. I'm clearing your case file over here. Well, okay, hurry, I'm working over here. Please well, hold the line. Hurry up, you scamming bastard. Yes. Okay, sir, I have completed all of my work over here. And now for the confirmation, can you please check your TD bank again? My TD bank or my other bank? The second one, sir, the second one. Oh, the second one. That's this one, TD bank. Hey, you Ben Kaloli. You Ben Kaloli motherfucker. Motherfucker. You scamming bastard. You threw. Yeah, you threw fucking.